to this special multiplayer DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to try your luck in that famous hot seat and compete against your family or friends to be the first to reach the magical million pound mark and the chance, of course, to win a family holiday to Universal Mediterranea. Now, all you need is your DVD remote control. You can move around the screen and make your choices by using the up, down, left, right and enter buttons. It really couldn't be simpler. Right, if you're ready, let's play. Right, here we go. Let's go over the rules, although I'm sure you're familiar with them all by now. You are 15 correct answers away from winning a virtual million pounds. Now, as always, you can walk away at any time. And if you do get stuck, then you have the usual three lifelines. There's 50-50. You can phone a friend, or, of course, you can ask the audience. OK, if you're ready, all you need to do now is select the number of players, and we can play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, you have 15 questions and three lifelines. The very best of luck. Let's play. OK, for 100 quid, here's question number one. That's great. It's the right answer. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 quid. Of course it is. That's the right answer. Here's question number three. It's worth £300. Jolly good. It's the right answer. Remember, a wrong answer here and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that won't happen. Question number four. No problems there. That's the right answer. Now, get the next question correct and you'll leave with at least a thousand pounds. Good luck. Here comes question number five. Very good. No problem at all. Right answer. You've reached the first milestone, that's £1,000. Now, have a look at question six, because it could double your money to 2000 What is the title of Andy Warhol's series of screen prints featuring a famous actress? Marilyn, Bridget, Raquel, Sophia. Now, are you happy for it to go orange? It's worth £2,000. Well played. That's correct. Here comes question number seven out of a possible 15. It's worth £4,000. Good luck. Which actor played Dr Stephen Maturin in Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World? Paul Bettany. Joseph Fiennes, Rufus Sewell, Ben Chaplin. That's the right answer. It's going really well so far. OK, if you choose the right answer to the next question, you can double your money to £8,000. Let's have a look at question 8 of 15. How many Oscars did Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, win at the 2004 ceremony? Five, seven, nine, eleven. Is that your final answer? You could double your money if you get this one right. Well played. You're absolutely right. Right, the jumps are starting to get a lot bigger now. Here is question nine for a possible £16,000. In which district of New York is the renowned Apollo Theatre? The Bronx, Manhattan, Queens or Harlem?
No problems there. That's the right answer. OK, this is where the drops start to get steeper. Get the next question wrong and you lose £15,000. But get it right and you win 32000 guaranteed. Complete the title of Louis de Bernier's novel The War of Don Emmanuel's Body Parts, Nether Parts, Hind Parts, Bit Parts. Have you got any inkling at all? OK, let's phone a friend. Now, who do you think might be able to help you choose the right answer? Mm, I'm not altogether sure, to be honest. I have a feeling that it's B, but I'm not sure why that is. Good luck anyway. Well played. That's correct. Right, question number 11 is worth £64,000. You would still walk away with 32000 even if you got it wrong. But let's hope you don't. Which rank in the British peerage is above a Viscount and below a Marquis? Lord, Duke, Earl, Baron. Jolly good, it's the right answer. Right, the next question is worth a whopping £125,000. It's number 12 of a possible 15. Take your time, it's a lot of money. In 2003, which Formula One racing driver was dropped by the BAR team for the 2004 season? Jacques Villeneuve, Jensen Button, Olivier Parnis, or Ryo Fukuda? Right, computer, we need a bit of help here. Take two of the answers away and hopefully make things a bit easier. So, you decided to ask the audience. Well, now, let's hope that they can help. Audience, on your keypads, please. All vote now. Absolutely spot on. Well done. Right, now just take your time and relax. The next question is number 13 of a possible 15. If you answer and you're wrong, you drop back to £32,000. Here's the question for a quarter of a million. Bernard was the first name of which of these military commanders? Montgomery, Rommel, Eisenhower, MacArthur. It's up to you. Remember, you don't have to play. Well played. You're absolutely right. This is now getting very, very serious. You are just two correct answers away from winning one million pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer here, you will lose 218,000 pounds. Not good. Have a look at question number 14, but think very carefully about what you want to do. Which soap was created by Tony Warren? EastEnders, General Hospital, Emergency Ward 10, Coronation Street. That's correct, well done.
Fantastic. You have played a brilliant game so far, and now you have £500,000. But we would really like to give you one million. Take as long as you need. Here comes the million pound question. Which US state capital was originally called Lancaster before being renamed after a president? Jefferson City, Madison, Jackson, or Lincoln? Well, you could have walked away with half a million pounds. But instead, you'll be walking away with one million pounds. That's the right answer. Fantastic. What a tremendous game. All 15 questions answered correctly. Well done. You are a virtual millionaire. Congratulations. Now, for a chance of jetting off for a fabulous holiday to Universal Mediterranean, all you have to do is write this special win code on the postcard provided and send it to us in the post. It couldn't be easier. Good luck. Well done and thank you for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire?